Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In our most recent video, we looked at the Dell Inspiron 15 5515 Ryzen 5 laptop. If you haven't seen the video yet, then you can click on the box in the top right corner of this video. Today, we are going to be looking at the slightly older Dell Inspiron 15 5505 Ryzen 7 laptop. We will be showing you a complete review slash first look, including benchmarks, so make sure you stay tuned and let's get into it. This laptop has AMD Ryzen 7 4700U with 8 core, 8 thread CPU, shared Radeon graphics, 8 gig of DDR4 RAM, 256 gig NVMe SSD, 15.6 inch full HD wide viewed angle LED screen, Wi-Fi 6 and a 4 cell 53 watt hour battery. In parallel with our most recent video, this laptop also has an all plastic case for a light weighted effect and a sleek silver matte design. On the right of the laptop, we have a headset jack, a USB port and a micro SD card reader. And on the left, we have a power jack, a HDMI port, another USB and a USB-C port as well. Like the 5515, this 5505 model has a unique drop hinge with an integrated kickstand for a more comfortable typing angle and improved air circulation. The all new designed thermals system helps output the heat away from the CPU and the GPU to prevent the laptop from overheating. The keyboard, like the 5515, has large sized keys, a full numeric keypad and a diamond cut edge touchpad located slightly to the left of the laptop. As you can see here, the twist test indicates that the screen flexes a fair amount. The build quality is okay, although it does flex slightly when pressed with force. Time for the back of the laptop. You can detach the back casing with a suitable screwdriver as displayed here. So here we have the primary battery. A 256 gig NVMe. a Wi-Fi 6 card and the two memory slots which currently has one stick of 8 gig with potential to add more if needed on this side. And on the rear of the case we have two rows of air vents here to help air circulation and to prevent overheating as well. And this is the camera on, so as you can see, it is pretty good quality. If I was to use the keyboard whilst using the webcam, this is the sort of noise that you would be getting, say if you was on a conference call, for example. Um, and it slightly bounces due to the laptop being fairly thin, but it's not significantly noticeable, so you should be okay with that. And now on to the benchmarks. So these are the PC mark results that we got for this laptop, displayed in purple, also visible are other laptop comparisons. Overall, this is a moderate score. Next onto the productivity benchmarks. As you can see here, both single and multi-core test scores are noted. Night Raid, quite visibly, is 
the best outcome out of all the tests done here with a score of 9,267. On to the power benchmarks. Here are the results and comparisons of the Battery Eater benchmarking program, which essentially notes how long it takes for the battery to run flat whilst working at full capacity with no charging lead attached. And YouTube. This test was completed to note the time taken for the battery to run flat whilst playing a constant YouTube video with no charging lead attached. Results show that it did take 11 hours which is considerably long. Displayed here is the time taken for the battery to charge from 0% to 100% and overall it was reasonably short in comparison to others. This test was done to note the read and write speeds of this laptop. Results were average but could have been better. And finally the thermals test. This video was taken when the laptop is just sat doing nothing and as you can see it is at a temperature of approximately 29 degrees which is pretty cool. And this is the thermal temperature of the laptop when running at full capacity. As you can see it is approximately 45 degrees which is quite hot. So that brings us to the end of this video. We hope you found this useful and that it helped you decide whether the laptop is suitable for you. We have plenty of other videos like this. If you would like to see more, then feel free to go and check them out on our channel. And as always, don't forget to leave a like, make sure to subscribe and most importantly, hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we post a video. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.